I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, cute. Unconventional, it's exciting. Oh, I'm fine, I think. Hey guys, I really have the urge, have the craving to just do a ridiculous, just full glam makeup look. For no reason, because I am not going anywhere. California has kind of gone backwards in our whole reopening scenario in terms of COVID. Started closing things again, so we're kind of back in a quarantine situation. Things were starting to loosen up a little bit, but now just full quarantine again. So I do feel like this impulsive decision is definitely motivated by quarantine and not being able to go out and do fun makeup. I miss it so much. So I wanna have fun again. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do some fun makeup. I'm gonna do winged eyeliner. <gasps> Crazy, cause I think I'm really bad at that. This could be really bad. This could turn out horrible. It probably will. Let's just kind of ride this roller coaster together and we'll just see where it goes. We don't know where this video is going, but it's going. So let's get into it. I really want to incorporate blue eyeshadow because I love that. Winged eyeliner. And I want to incorporate a fun hairstyle. So I'm gonna do a fun, crazy hairstyle. But first, let's put my hair up. How are you guys doing? I'm fine, I think. I don't know, am I? So I'm starting off with this Illusion Skin Tint by Hourglass in the color Ivory. I'm not even sure if this is the right color for me, but I wanted to use something more intense than I normally use, which is the Glossier kind of tinted moisturizer thing. She thick. I think this matches my skin. I haven't used this in like years. That smells so familiar. I don't know. Oh, I guess it smells like the days when I used to wear this. So this is more makeup than I'm used to. I really don't wear kind of heavy duty full coverage basically ever anymore. I used to. Oh, <laughs> it's very, it's actually very, very thick. I don't even feel like I need concealer with this, do I? But no, we're going full coverage. We're going all out. So yeah, I'm gonna put concealer. I think one of the main reasons why I'm, I'm wanting to do just a crazy makeup look right now is because I want some change. I wanna shock myself, you know? Recently in quarantine, I just wake up every day and I, I know what's gonna happen. I have become just so predictable. So we're gonna set this using some powder. Let's go in with bronzer. Oh, but let's go in with a crazy bronzer. Let's go in with whatever this is that I just found on my door. Looks crazy. Cute. So, I mean, I was always taught, you kind of go in, and by taught, I mean from the YouTube videos I watch, you go in like a three. I hope this is gonna look good. It doesn't matter, I'm not seeing a soul. Except Barrett, actually I'm really excited to show him afterwards and see if he, I don't think he's used to me wearing this much makeup, so I'm excited to see what he thinks. Wait, that looks pretty good. Hey, I like this bronzer. What is it, Gosh? Giant Sun Powder by Gosh. Made in Italy, fancy. Blush, I didn't put blush on. I feel like this might be the type of situation where it looks really good under my ring light right now and then I'm gonna go into natural light and it's just gonna be like aggressive. Okay, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow for highlighter because back in the day I used to be obsessed with this palette by Stila. I don't even remember what it's called, but it has all these colors and I remember always using this one for highlighter. So we're just gonna reminisce. just as good as I remember it. Wow, see, it's a really good highlighter, but it's an eyeshadow. I'm such an artiste, you know? I just I use what I have around me. It's unconventional, it's exciting. It's eyebrow time. Let's go for, for a more full brow than normal because we're going glam. Using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'll 
be the first to admit my eyebrows are not very glam right now. They are a bit unruly. You know, I tried to wax them myself at home with the CVS kit and it went fine, but it wasn't great. Okay, do these look good? I don't know. Let's also throw some boy brow. Oh, too much came out. So I just put my clear gel on my brows and I think we're ready to do eyes, which is the part I'm most excited about. All of this was just necessary for me to get to the part that I'm most excited about, which is the eyes. Let's do it. I'm using this Ciate, I think that's how you say it, London Fierce Flex. That is what is about to go down, some Fierce Flex. Should I put something on my eyes? first let's just do like a base let's just do a base shade from this norvina palette i'm going to go in with this the most neutral shade what's the name of it a1 okay steak sauce so we're just putting this on as the base now i was thinking i wanted to incorporate blue but look how fun all of these colors are maybe i just do something even crazier like that what if it looks so sparkly let's swatch it and see if i like it Wait, that's really pretty. What if I do a glitter on top and then blue on the bottom? Could be crazy. But if this turns out good, I'm gonna like want people to see it and then I'm gonna be kind of mad that people can't see it. But if it turns out bad, I'm gonna be happy that no one can see it. It's really a toss up. Wait, should I put pink underneath it? I feel like I should. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with this hot pink because we're crazy. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's really cool. Oh, I love makeup. I call this look pink eye. Awesome. This is going well, I feel like. We're going in with the glitter now. So I'm going in with this glitter now. Yes. Absolutely. So fun. The eyeshadow is done for now. Oh, I'm gonna do blue on the bottom, I think. Is that too crazy now? No. Yeah, let's definitely do blue on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this blue on my bottom lash line because that seems like it would be fun. And that's the point. I feel like if I was a superhero, this would be my makeup. Now we're gonna go in with our eyeliner and I really wanna do a super dramatic cat eye <laughs> because it's like if I'm going for it, I'm going for it. But I'm really scared about this because there's just no going back. You have to really get it right. I'm so scared. I never use liquid eyeliner. I just feel like this is gonna go so wrong and this looks so good. I don't wanna mess it up. Just remember how good this looks. If I just completely mess it up with this, you're supposed to go at an angle, right? Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. <sighs> Wish me luck. That's not terrible. Sorry guys, I had to go off camera for a sec because if you've ever done winged eyeliner, you know it's very serious business. You have to be really up close. But I'm feeling like this isn't that bad. Is it? Is it long enough? I'm gonna keep going, okay. Is that too long? Next eye. You gotta go off camera for this, sorry. That's not the worst thing you've ever seen, right? Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. And again, I don't wanna just keep going over it and then ultimately ruining it. So let's just, let's stick with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring the cat eye kind of into my corner a little bit because I saw someone do that and I think it'll be cool. Okay. Yeah, I kind of did it. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. Oh, you know what I feel like professional makeup artists do? Is they put something up here and I didn't do that. So let me go in with this color from the Norvina. I'm gonna put it up here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, Dior Show Iconic. You know, now that we're wearing masks all the time, 
you really need to express yourself with your eyes, I feel like at this point. Since, you know, this whole area is covered, your eyes are your main focal point. Your eyes are the main thing that people are seeing. So this would be a really good, subtle, <laughs> So, well, you know, this would be a fun way to express yourself from behind your mask. People would see you with your mask on with this eye look and they'd be like, she's fun. Now we're really onto the final step, which is lips. Now with this look, I feel like you really could go big or go home. You could do a really bright lip or you could do kind of a more nude so that your eye makeup really pops. And I think that's what I want to go for. So first I'm going to put on some lip balm. So I think I'm going to use this. I just found this in my drawer, Bare Minerals in Swag. <laughs> Guys, this didn't turn out so bad. It's so fun. Now let's do the hair. Okay, so for hair, I have something really specific that I want to do. I want to do a high ponytail with some hair wrapped around it and then two kind of front pieces, you know, out like that. So can you kind of see what I'm going for there? Let's start by pulling those front pieces out that I want. So I'm really going for a super high ponytail. So I really want it to be sitting up at the top of my head, but I still want to be able to see this part. So it's a tricky maneuver. I feel like there's good. And I'm kind of going for it being messy so it doesn't have to be really perfect. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so now I kind of need all of this back I need all of my baby hairs to be pinned back. So I'm just gonna take some bobby pins and start pinning all of that away in the back. Now, see, you could view this as me wasting my time because what am I doing this for? I'm not going anywhere. But I kind of view it as fun makeup and hair practice. You know, when do you really have all this time to practice and maybe mess up? You know, usually when you're going somewhere, you don't want to try anything too crazy because if you don't like it, you have to take it off, start over again. But you know, there's there's no fear here. There's, you know, you don't have to be worried about messing up or anything because it doesn't matter. So that's kind of what's fun about this. Okay, so I think I kind of have all the baby hairs pinned back. Should I do some right here? Yeah, I feel like I should. I have a lot of baby hairs. Okay, so I'm gonna pin some of these guys back a little bit. My hair is kind of dirty, I need to wash it, but I actually think that doing hairstyles with dirty hair is a little better because it holds better in my experience. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Now let's go in with some heat. What I wanna do is really just have some nice curls. I really just wanna have some nice curls happening. So I'm just gonna style these kind of away from my face. I'm just gonna add a few into here. My hair already has some curls in it, so I don't need too many. Yeah, like that. Wow, Um, I think we're done. I, I think, I think that's it. If you're feeling kind of stuck right now during these crazy times, just know you're not alone. I totally feel you. This was super fun for me. Just really fun to express myself using this crazy makeup and doing a fun hairstyle that I wouldn't normally do but have been wanting to try out. And yeah, this was a really random video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it somewhat amusing. So yeah, I just encourage you guys to have some fun right now. This actually brought a smile to my face and it's really fun to play dress up and express yourself through makeup and hair and all that stuff. It's really just a good time and not taking it too seriously and just playing around has really been a blast for me. So final step is I want to show Barrett and I want to get his live reaction on camera because I just, this is not how I normally look on a day-to-day -day basis. So I want to see his reaction. Disclaimer, I don't care whether he likes it or not because I do, but I do want to see his reaction. I'm curious to see what he thinks. And he's gonna be surprised. Okay, let's go see what he thinks. Okay, I have my camera. I wanna get your live reaction to my makeup look. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, doesn't it kind of look 
cool? Um, yes, it looks really cool. Do you need to see it in the light more? No, I, yeah, it looks, yeah, no, I see it. It's, this is terrible lighting. I look much better in the ring light. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.